but we're going to start. We're going to start on this Wednesday morning with more encouraging news on the coronavirus vaccine rollout. Doses of Pfizer's vaccine have been distributed throughout the country now with a second vaccine option seemingly imminent. NBC's Tom Costello has been following it all of it from the very beginning. Tom, let's start with that Moderna vaccine, possibly days away from emergency authorization. What are the main differences between that Moderna vaccine and the Pfizer vaccine? So the primary difference between the two is that Moderna's vaccine does not need to be kept at negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit. It can be kept at the regular temperature you have for your own refrigerator. So that would therefore allow for more doses to be spread across the country and not necessarily into big hospitals with that deep freezer capability. So that's a very big step. Now, next week, 6 million doses of Moderna's vaccine alone will start shipping, assuming we have FDA authorization. Uh, What's similar to Pfizer's is it is just as effective they believe. It also requires two shots, just like the Pfizer shot. But they also believe that Moderna's shot may start to provide uh, protection against infection at 63% after a single shot. So there's a lot to be hopeful here with the Moderna vaccine on top of the good news out of Pfizer. You just mentioned the FDA, Tom. We're, we're hearing that the Food and Drug Administration has, has also just approved this new at-home COVID test. What more can you tell us about that? Yeah, this is a very big deal. This is an at-home nose swab to check for any sort of antigen that you may have suggesting that you have had COVID. Uh, And that's important because they are going to start to put this out, they believe, in January in your local pharmacy. Uh, It'll cost about $30 or so. So it's not really cheap, but 30 bucks to get an at-home swab test in the nose, and you'll get the results back in about 20 minutes or so. And the company that makes these is dramatically ramping up production. They want to put out about 100,000 kits a day day starting in January. Uh, One last note here, we've been checking with UPS and FedEx because of course they are the ones who are driving this emergency shipment uh, process for both uh, the Pfizer vaccine and soon the Moderna vaccine and they both believe that they will be able to execute despite this big storm that's really coming down here on the Northeast. Uh, They believe that they'll be able to get those priority vaccine shipments to hospitals up and down the East Coast. Some great news finally. Hey, Tom, really quickly, that woman who was taking the nose swab test that's coming out in January, the at-home test, was she using her smartphone to, to gauge whether she was negative or positive? Honestly, I didn't see the video you're running at the time there, Craig. That may be part of the program. Listen, this is, as you know, okay. this has all been about leveraging the absolute uh, newest in technology. That wouldn't surprise me at all. I've got to plead ignorance on that. I didn't quite see what you were looking at. I'm sorry. That's, I gotta be honest with you, Tom Costello, in all the years we've worked together, that's literally the first time you did not know the answer to a question. So, <laughs> always forgive me, my friend. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. All right. Poor Tom. I'm it's, just gonna say yes. Yeah. Because none of us know. So How do you get you the go. phone up your nose like that? <laughs> that doesn't seem possible. My goodness. All right. <laughs> Such a mess. Thank you, Tom.